Immigration is an urgent issue on the minds of many in the United States today and indeed in other countries. It's a burning issue globally. And it might pay for us to take a few minutes and talk about what immigration is as an economic phenomena, so we kind of understand the economic basis for immigration. Immigrants come to the United States for a number of reasons. One of them is economics, basic economics. The country they're in is poor, their job opportunities are few, their income situation grim. It's so bad that they're willing to uproot themselves from family, friends, neighborhood, town, village, religion, and come to a country far away, not quite sure of the reception they are getting, but hopeful that if they work hard, they can make a decent living. It's the history of the United States for a long time. And it still goes on. Uneven development in the world between rich and poor countries is as grim as it ever was, and the flow of immigrants corresponds. It's also true that politics sometimes brings immigrants. If the country you're in is dangerous, if the civil liberties and rights are not being protected, you might need to leave to survive. We have some of that too. But if we're going to look hard at the economics, we have to face something else. Employers in the United States have long had a powerful interest in immigration. And that's been true from the beginning of the history of the United States. Here's what employers see. Immigrants will work for less money than non-immigrants in our country. Non-immigrants, even if they've come relatively recently to the United States, have learned what the ways of the United States are, what standards of living are. They've adopted customs and habits and ways of existing, and they want a decent salary for the work that they do. They don't want to be underpaid. New immigrants, those who have come really quite recently, are often willing to work for far less, for money that was better than what they had at home, even if it isn't as good as what other people, non-immigrants here, get. So employers have an immediate advantage. And that gives us a big hint as to why, with all the laws and all the fences and all the border patrols in the United States, we seem to be unable to stop the flow of immigrants into the United States, legal and illegal. It's because employers want them and make sure to get them. This is especially true with illegal, undocumented immigrants. Because if there's one thing better than a cheap immigrant worker, it's a cheap immigrant worker with no papers. Because if you don't pay him or her what you're supposed to, if you don't give them the protections the law entitles them to, they're afraid to go to the law. They can't protect themselves because they fear that they will be thrown out of the country since they're here without papers. So they are at the complete mercy of employers, and the stories of abusive treatment there are legion in the United States, as they always have been. This is not a new problem. What about the effects of immigration? There's much talk about that. We've finished talking about the causes, the effects. Well, one thing has to be faced. Do they depress wages, immigrants? By and large, most of the time, they do. They always have. That's why they're here. That's why I stressed the drive of employers to bring them. The employers bring them because they can pay them less. But that's not the only effect an immigrant worker has. The same immigrant who's paid less spends the money he or she gets. And that creates jobs for lots of other non-immigrants in America making all the goods and services that immigrants buy. And immigrants pay taxes every time they buy something. And immigrants pay taxes on their income when they're legal immigrants. And those taxes are used by local, state, and federal governments to provide services for all Americans non-immigrants in the majority, as well as immigrants. So the benefits also flow from immigration, big benefits. Immigrants in a community need to buy and find housing. Often the rents will rise in many communities because immigrants are added to those looking for homes. And so if you're a landlord and you have an apartment, you're going to get a better rent when immigrants are added to the demand for rent than if you didn't have those immigrants, and on and on. When you try to get a measure, there's no clear outcome. 
it is wrong to say that immigrants are a net gain to the United States, but it's also wrong to say that they are a net loss. The effects of immigration are too complex and too diverse to render any kind of economically balanced judgment. So then what do we do with immigration? If we still want to be a country that welcomes people, as we always have, that becomes powerful, rich, and diverse based on the different streams of immigrants, then we have to recognize that they're a value we, we cherish. And if we want to face the reality that our employers always have, and likely always will, find ways to bring in immigrants, because it's profitable for them to do so, then the chances of our being able to effectively stop that in the future are really not much better than they've been in the past, which is to say, not at all. Here's a solution. What would be best for Americans? Welcome the immigrants. Have them join. Have them build the country. But let us have trade unions, labor unions, and others help to mobilize and organize our immigrants as fast as they get here. Bring them up to the standard of the American standard of living of the non-immigrants here that they can enjoy and that they can share. That way their wages will not be lower than those of the non-immigrants. They will not have those negative effects we fear and will be able to cash in on the positive effects. The loser will be the employers who probably hope they could pay low wages for a long time and will discover, if we organize these people, that it'll be for a short time. And that may not be good for the employers, but it's good for the immigrants and it's good for the non-immigrants who constitute the majority of our people.